you know, you mentioned Bray Wyatt here at the top. This this full episode is going to be about Terry Funk, but uh, Ted, I, I don't want to let it slip by uh, before we we really dive in deep on Terry Funk. Wyndham Rotunda, uh, such a talented performer, a young man born in just 1987 and, and tragically gone, life cut short. Uh, did you have a lot of time around Wyndham? I I didn't ha I didn't have a, a lot of time around Wyndham. Uh, but I, I know, but, but Wyndham and my younger son, Brett, you know, who had been in training for a while and then, you know, he, uh, you know, he had his own health issues that, you know, you know, I mean, it's like he, I, I don't know how many, it's like, he, it's like every time he would get well, he'd get hurt again. And so finally I said, you know, you, you're not going to be able to do this. And so, uh, but but Wyndham, you know, during the time that he was in, in training, you know, back when, you know, when they, this was after they started the wrestling school, uh, Wyndham was like his, one of his best friends. And uh, it's like, uh, and I, I thought the kid was, you know, he's a great kid. Hey, man, Mike Rotunda, you know, you know, is a, is a good, you know, it's like, there's a lot of, you know, decent people, and there's there's a lot of there's a lot of people on my, you know, you might even say, oh man, they're a great wrestler, but oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> it's not somebody you want to hang out with, <laughs> type of deal. But um, but uh, you know, Mike was a, a stand up, stand out person, and a good friend, and uh, and and you know, and his kids are his kids are great, uh, and I just, you know, I I, I called Mike. And, uh, I mean, I just got to speak with him briefly, you know, and, uh, and he's, I guess he's, he's holding up as good as you could. Right. I mean, uh, I mean, I've got my son, Brett is 35. Uh, like I said, Brett, it was right there with, with Wyndham when, when they were in training. And, uh, and I knew that, you know, through the grapevine that this September, you know, um, you know, Wyndham was scheduled to go back and they were going to do something big with him. And uh, it's just sad. It's just, you know, uh, we're not supposed to bury our children. It's not supposed to happen that way. And it's just, uh, I just can't even imagine that. I mean, when I, when I first, when I, and both those things, I mean, Terry, because of my relationship, you know, I've done a lot of crying, you know, and, and real men do cry mm -hmm. uh, for both of those things. I mean, for, for Mike and his wife. And, you know, I mean, I thought about, gosh, you know, what if somebody came to the door and told me that my son, Brett was dead? Oh, I just, what? Just, uh, I don't know, buddy. I just can't, you can't put into words. Heartbreaking. Yeah, there's not any, there's not words sometimes to express what you feel. No, and and look, there's no words that are going to make what these families, both Terry's and Wyndham's, are going through. There's no, there's no words that's going to make anything any better. But you know, I do believe in the power of prayer and positivity, and I think that you know both both of these families need those from from the wrestling world at large, and they have that support from their friends and and their remaining family. But uh, you know, uh, I'm it's it's been incredible watching the wrestling community at large come together and uh, you know honor the memories of both of these men. Yeah. 